Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I am going to discuss about paid sample t-test using SPSS. First, let us discuss why paid sample t-test need to be used or when paid sample t-test analysis will be used. In a case when we have two samples which are dependent and we want to compare these two samples where there is any difference between the two samples then we use paid sample. The word itself is paid in the sense they are compared, they are dependent. The simple example is some 32 employees are taken, they have been trained on a method. Before training, the scores are recorded in a test and after training, the scores are recorded in another test. Now I want to test whether the score before training is having any significant difference to after training. I have this example GPS score where I have two variables pre-test scope and post-test scope. These two variables are scale data and I want to know whether there is any significant difference between pre-test score to post-test scope. So the conditions for using this paid test is the two variables should be scale data and they must be dependent. Let us start the analysis. I go for analyze, compare mean, paid sample t-test. First I will select pre-test, next post-test. See these two variables are taken as a pair and I click OK. Now this is the output screen where I have the first table pretest mean is 79.2813. The second one is post test is 83.5. Now is there any difference between pretest and post test? To do this one, I need to check the significance value in the second table, which is called paid sample correlation and paid sample test where we need to check the significance values here. The significant value is 0 0.001. The value here is 0 0.001. The null hypothesis what I formulated is there is no significant difference between pre-test and post-test scores. And if P value, significant value is less than 0 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis. The important question is why I am taking a 0 0.05 because my confidence interval is 95%. That is why I am taking if the P value is less than 0 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis. In the output screen, the significant value is 0. 001 which is less than 0 0.05 then I am rejecting my null hypothesis which I interpret as there is a significant difference between pre-test and post-test. Now this is how we are going to formulate an example and how we are going to interpret where there is a significant difference between pre-test and post-test. Thank you.